guys, the pre-patch for Battle for Azeroth is officially out. The Battle for Azeroth is about to begin. And most likely, you guys are running around and you're doing all the new content and you're checking out all the new stuff, but there are some of you out there that are probably thinking, man, this new patch is out. I don't know what to do. Or maybe some of you are coming back to try WoW for the first time in a while. Maybe you stepped away for a bit. You're coming back. I don't know what to do. So that's what I want to talk about today, guys. I want to talk a little bit about what you can do in the BFA pre-patch. Specifically, five things that I recommend that you do before Battle for Azeroth officially launches in August. So let's just jump right into it with number one. So here's the first thing you need to do. You need to open up your talent page and you're gonna see a thing called war mode. You're gonna turn that thing on, all right? Don't you, don't you be a coward. You turn on that war mode. Turn that thing on and take your ass to Darkshore. You might be like, Nixium, why do I wanna go to Darkshore? Because that is where the world PvP is happening, man. That is where the world PvP is happening. Go to Darkshore, rally with the Alliance, rally with the Horde, and begin to mindlessly conquer and slaughter in the name of your faction. And when Darkshore gets boring, when you're like, man, Darkshore, I've slaughtered so many Horde, I've slaughtered so many Alliance, what now? Go raid Orgrimmar. Go burn it to the ground. Go raid Silvermoon City. Show those Blood Elves what we really think about them. Go raid Undercity. Kill Sylvanas. Raid Stormwind. Do whatever it is you want to do. Make the battle for Azeroth come to life. Get involved if you want to world PvP. Come on over to twitch.tv forward slash Nixium. We are doing world PvP all the god dang time, and we are having a great freaking time because this is battle for Azeroth, and so we are going to make it a battle for Azeroth. But seriously, do, do world PvP because it's a lot of fun, and I think you'll have a great time. That's all I'm trying to say. Go kill some plebs on Argus that are trying to quest. Go gank some low-level players that decided to turn on war mode for whatever reason. You know, just go just go kill people. That's all I'm trying to say. Just go mindlessly slaughter some Alliance and Horde. Okay, that's point number one. Number two, most likely you guys got an instant boosted character with the purchase of the new World of Warcraft expansion. So what I recommend that you do is do exactly what I've done. Boost a character and a class that you've never done before. For me, I boosted a Paladin. Now everybody knows that Nixium, that's me, everybody knows that I'm the Death Knight. You know, I am the Death Knight. I am the filthy casual. And I also play a mage. I've been playing a mage since classic. But you know what? I wanted to try something different. So I decided to roll a paladin. I boosted a paladin to level 110. I gave him a try. And you know what? I kind of like it. I'm having a good time trying something new. The, the class changes and whatnot. It's a different kind of gameplay. I can finally be on the giving end, finally. Y you know what I'm talking about with the Paladin? You're trying to kill one in a battleground and all of a sudden, LOL, they pop lay on hands. Ugh. So you go back to whittling down their health, LOL, bubble. <sighs> so you wait and then you whittle down their health, LOL, and then they get away. Flash of light, flash of light, flash of light. Now I get to be that asshole. Lots of changes have come to the classes of World of Warcraft, so be sure to check them all out. Abilities have been buffed, some have been removed, all that stuff. You know, just just try out some new things, guys. Don't just just don't be like me, guys. My Death Knight's corpse shield ability was removed. Blizzard, why did you remove my corpse shield? Think of everything I've done for you. You remember that funny video that you watched that one time? That you went, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Remember that one time? And then you take away my corpse shield. You burn down Lordaeron. I'm one of my favorite places in WoW. You destroy Teldrassil, my other favorite place in WoW. And you took away my corpse shield. How am I supposed to survive in battlegrounds without my corpse shield? Don't know, man. Sometimes I just don't. I just don't think it's worth it anymore. Maybe my days of being a Death Knight are over. Nah, dude, fuck that shit. I'm gonna play Paladin though for a little while because I'm having fun with the Paladin. So that's number two. Try out some new classes. Number three, I mentioned this earlier, but you gotta check out the Burning of Teldrassil quest line. So if you're just now coming back, you're gonna get a quest line at max level where you're gonna be told that the Horde is attacking Teldrassil. And if you are a proud member of the Alliance, you need to go defend your comrades in arms. Go to Darkshore and just freaking destroy them in some world PvP. But if you're a Horde player, what you need to do is you need to get behind Sylvanas and friends and you need to go burn down that tree. 
and do some world PvP. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I think you are. Then later on down the road, we will have the Battle for Lordaeron quest line, where you get to fight alongside Sylvanas and Anduin and Sarfang, and you get to do some world PvP. The point is, go do those quest lines. It's some rich, cool, awesome lore that establishes the feel for Battle for Azeroth and lets you get in that mood to do some world PvP, and that's what you want. Number four, level in alt. Blizzard has changed so many things, guys. And yeah, you could use that 110 boost and play on a new character and just have it all at once, or get it slowly. You know, level a new character from level one. Try out that monk that you've always thought to yourself, man, I wanna try out a monk one day. You play that monk. You might be willing to play that rogue or something for the very first time. The point is, go play an alt. Now is the time before BFA comes out because you don't want to get into BFA and be like, oh my God, what do I want to play? Try out some new classes, level an alt, go back to the Broken Isles and read the quest text if you hadn't done that before. Learn the lore that Blizzard took the time to write out. Learn more about your class and the fantasy and so on and so forth. Enjoy these buffed as piss dungeons, which I like them. You know, just, just try out some new, you know, try out a new class right from the beginning. Level an alt and make sure that you are ready and you know what you want to do and what you want to play in BFA. Mm -hmm. And finally, number five, the most important thing. Well, the second most important thing behind the world PvP. The most second importantest thing in the world. You gotta do Antoros. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, Nixium, I don't got time to be doing Antoros. I got Alliance to slaughter. I've got Horde to slaughter. I've got trees to defend. I've got trees to burn down. I don't got time for this. Make some time, dude. This is the final raid of Legion. You owe it to yourself to go to Antoros, get in a raid group, and kick Sargeras's ass. This is what Legion was all about kicking the legion's ass you better not walk into bfa you better not walk into this expansion without having done your god-given duty of shoving your sword into sargeras's you know what i'm talking about get a raid group together guys have some fun try out the new raid if you haven't done it before dude go have some fun man we've been doing runs and running people through antoros over on my twitch stream so We've been having a great time doing that, and it's always fun, man. I, I highly recommend checking out the raid, even if you're not a big raiding player. Because, come on, man. You gotta kick Argus's ass. Free the Titans, all that stuff. You'll have a good time. Check out Antoros, man. Check it out. And then go do some world PvP. But that's pretty much it, guys. The new patch is out. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are having an awesome time in the patch. If you're a new player or you're somebody that's coming back for the release of BFA to check it out, I hope you guys have a good time. I'll be making a lot more BFA content throughout the expansion and talking about this, that, and whatever. I'll find something to complain about. I'll do what I do best. I'll complain about World of Warcraft and you guys will get salty in the comment section. We're gonna have a great time. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Those of you that support me on Patreon, you guys are great. I love you. Come here, come here. Thanks. Those of you that watch me on Twitch, you guys are great. Thank you for being a part of my community and talking with me. You guys are awesome. And for those of you that watch me here on YouTube and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell and you listen to me rabble about world PvP and talk about classic WoW and stuff on an every other day basis. Well, thank you, my friends. Thank you very much. I love you. Thanks for watching the videos. And I'll see you next time on whatever it is I'm going to talk about next. Boom! <laughs>